it is Wargoth the Barbarian here, and welcome to episode number 12 of our City Skylines Vanilla Twist playthrough. Hooray! As you can see, last time out, the entire board was finally unlocked. And look at all this luscious green space we have to build on. Okay, so maybe not all of it, because it's a 81 tiles mod, but... Long story short, we have the entire map to play with now. It also opens the door for some more insane luck testing, shall we say. Dun, dun, dun. I'll explain that stipulation in just a minute. But as always, I have to remind you all to hit those like and subscribe buttons if you like what you see. And thanks as always for doing so. So... As I mentioned, we got the 25 tiles unlocked. Hooray! As you can see, I've already gone ahead and kind of gotten prepared. But I will tell you right now, for this episode, preparation is going to basically be the name of the game here. Trying to get our city prepared for future development, because we are now officially in do-whatever-we-want stage. We can basically build wherever we want to, whatever we want. There are no limits here. Just whatever your imagination leads to. But, of course, our luck is going to get tested in ways it never has before. So, let me get to that first and explain that part of it. So, when I unlocked all the... I had stated previously that the Tsunami was off-limits until all 25 tiles were unlocked. Well, guess what we did last time out? Yep, the Tsunami is now officially fair game for disasters. No, we're not putting any right now. However, this whole time I've been rolling a D8 to determine the disaster type. It'll now be a D10 since there are nine. But here's the scary part. If I roll a 10 on the initial what disaster to choose, then I am automatically going to pick a random disaster and set it at an intensity of 10. In other words, we're going to be getting full-blown disasters, which is going to really test our luck. I am going to start with the disasters we have not hit yet, and believe it or not, there are actually two Yes, the tsunami is one, but believe it or not, we have not had any thunderstorms erupt. So if I roll a 10 on the initial what disaster are we picking roll, don't be surprised if a full-blown thunderstorm hits the area. Unless it were to happen sooner. In which case the full-blown tsunami happens and... Well, if you re watched last season, you know exactly how well that's going to turn up. Crossing my fingers, it doesn't really happen. The good news is, now that we've unlocked every other tile, single tile in the game, there's actually a less chance it hits our city, believe it or not. At least for the time being. But as we expand outwards, the odds are going to go ever upward. So let that serve as kind of a small warning here that don't be surprised if the disasters get cranked up in intensity and things really go nuts. As of this very moment, though, we are playing till the year 2072. So the goal is to cram in as many people in here. And once we hit 2072, I am stopping the game and that is and whatever our population is is basically going to be, I guess, our final score. And then we'll see what else, how I feel about Season 3. Of course, also don't feel free to check out some of my other videos, too. Fun fact, I actually just got them recording this on the day after I got back from a vacation, which was really nice. It was uh, <laughs> very nice going to the Outer Banks for a whole weekend. Week, I should say. Not a whole weekend. We spent the whole weekend down there. A whole week! And it was some pretty nice times down there. So, ah, uh, you'll have to pardon me if I'm not fully in the groove. I literally just got home 
yesterday night. So we'll see how that progresses. <laughs> All right, back to the business at hand. So, first, this is now a very important juncture in our cityscape here. Because we literally are going to have to city plan here. We're going to have to take in our uh, thinking caps for a um, city planner and try to figure out how we want to do this. As you can see, I've kind of already gone ahead and built another, like, highway belt. But after some thinking, that might not be kind of the best idea. Okay, maybe it is. We've got some... We got plenty of time to think about this. Um, as I'm looking around, right off the bat... I mean, there are a couple things I would like to do right off the bat. So, hold on. And I immediately know what the first thing is, and this one's going to be one of the most important things that we do. And that's build new towboats. Oh, please, you, you thought planning the city was the most important thing? No, 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 no. We got to have those towboats. Come on, y'all got to know me better than that. Hold on, turn my volume down. There we go. Y'all got to know me a little bit better than that. We got to get our towboats in. Hang on. <laughs> While we're waiting here, generally the moral of the story is, with our city, oh dear, hang on, this is not cooperating, there we go, Our we can basically build whatever the hell we want, so, don't be surprised if I decide to readjust a few things, there we go, of course we gotta set them up to max price, why wouldn't we do that? And, uh, well, I gotta reconnect this, because knowing me, I will be stupid enough to leave that unhooked. There we go. There we go. Gotta make sure our, our uh, people get charged here. Oh, I know one more thing. So, while I'm getting this powered and watered up, so... Basically, with the this map in general, there's a lot of cliffs. So we're going to have to be careful about how our entry and exit points exist on this map. But generally speaking, this is basically just a matter of simple city planning. Like, how do you want to get up to deal with the hills and all that stuff? There we go. That should be all set for... So, obviously, there's some cosmetic work I'm going to have to do. Maybe try to make this highway a little bit neater. One other thing I was thinking of is bringing this highway kind of on the valley here and connecting it over... Well, now it would probably be around here-ish. Um, and then, obviously, we're going to have to eminent domain some buildings over here, but that's no biggie. We're going to start off by building in the valleys first, and then migrating to the hills. Which, based upon what I just said, may not be the greatest of ideas, but... For now, it'll work. As for the hills, what I was thinking is, little, small little t towns, per se, with a few commercial blocks, some light residential, and then an office or two area... So somewhere like around here, then another section around here. We've already got one section beginning to go up. I'll kind of use this as a test range. And then maybe one more one over here and over here. Yeah, obviously, these slopes are going to be our only way to get down off the hills, but that is okay. But generally speaking, for the hill parts, we're probably going to have to go a little bit smaller than normal this highway kind of leading in. For whatever's left along the cliffside, it'll be a ma combination of utilities, such as drainage pipes, because having them over here just seems kind of awkward, especially since they're still polluting our bay. The tourist areas, I have one prepped for this area. And whoever knows, whatever else we feel like. Granted, I don't have all the DLCs available for my use. Again, this is a vanilla playthrough. But generally speaking, that's the general idea. As for spots we can't really use, like, say, these hills, 
This would be a good thing for things like water pumps and windmills and all that. So any electrical needs that we have can be solved. Yes, we've already got one wind farm over here, but we could use a little bit more. In the future, if it allows, I could very well turn into to like a lakeshore colony of sorts. As well as maybe set up some beaches over here. Once again, we have plenty we can do, and, well, all, well, we don't really have that much time. So that kind of gives you the general idea of what I wanted to do, as I kind of laid out last episode, which I now realize I kind of forgot, because, you know, <laughs> I recorded all those episodes before vacation, so now I'm kind of like, okay, let me remember and see what I was planning. But first things first. We need to get our mass transit going, and all of this, believe it or not, is going to revolve around... Let's get this game rolling. Do, 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 do. Where are you? This! Uh, not that. That is Ill not happening. This! Nice try, that was part of the DLC. Basically, we gotta revolt, put our start with an airport at a train station, and then build around that, basically, to give us kind of the glimpse, or the gist. And I already know where both are going, as well as a cargo port, too. That's going to help our industries out a lot. This little area right here is going to be the focus of very first focus. And, well, as you can see, we've already got highway connections. I thought for a second there was a fire there just now. Okay. We've already got a train line, but I'm thinking we may need to reroute this maybe at close towards the valley. There is also a metro line buried somewhere in this area. And then we're going to have to put our airport. Now, airports can be a bit finicky in regards to how you place them. So I guess the first thing we should do is set up, kind of reroute this train line to go as close to the valley, the hill, foothill edge as possible, and then hook up with the um, outside connection over here. The train station will get added on later on, and then I'll put in an airport somewhere in this vicinity. That's kind of the general plan. I'll leave this open for right now, but... Yeah, we're, let's start off with getting the transport link started, and we can build around that as time goes on. And maybe also deal with our highway, too. Almost forgot, and in regards to that, I think trying to slope it down here might be a better idea. And somewhere around here, the highway is going to hook up to this end. I may have to demol- I mean, like I said earlier, some eminent domain may be coming towards these, these houses. The goal trying to connect it to the downtown area, or I could just be a, uh, <laughs> or I could get really crazy and bury this underneath, but considering I've already built over here, yeah, let's just leave it above ground. I'll figure if something out where I want to, like, redirect this to, so let's start by getting all those transport links, and I will report back to you after the jump. Oh boy, that took a lot. But this right here is the result of all that hard work. It, it looks more like a mess than it actually is, but this is basically the best I could do. So, here's what happened. As mentioned, this train line now is a little bit closer to the hillside. I had to cut... I now moved our cargo trains all the way over here towards this end, as they were over here and in the way of this road. This now is a our uh, train metro line combo area. I guess kind of if passengers want to go out by via train, they can now do it. We have metro lines connecting this and this. You can see our, uh... <laughs> I know this looks very messy slash dangerous, but this is the best I can do. Cargo airport is now on the right. 
on our shiny new international airport, complete with its own metro station, believe it or not, is to the left. Right here, or yeah, or right here in front of you. Complete with highway interchanges and all that fun stuff. It is looking good. And then also, it was a miracle that I could actually fit all this in in this little short area. Some landscaping behind the scenes, and voila! It's basically all set. Also, this got rerouted, as you can see. I kind of rerouted routed the highway a little bit, so it wasn't sloping as so far down. Obviously, it's not being used right now, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Ah, I was hoping I could click on that. Well, ah, look at that. We've already got planes coming in, and hopefully they're using the right one, right one way. Oh, that'd be kind of weird if they didn't. But hopefully this does a lot of things. Most likely clear this mess up. Though I do have other ways of uh, dealing with this issue, too. And, of course, we have the highway ins and outs here. This is actually a one-way road, believe it or not. So, it's just basically all set. So, I guess the next step now is to move over here. Put this... Well, now this is where it's going to get messy. Because I'm going to have to demolish a whole bunch of houses. I mean, look at what's literally in the path here. Long story short... I'm probably going to have the highway come on the edge of the valley over here. Link up with this highway over here. I might have to build, build a custom interchange. But once I get through here, there's going to be some demolishing. And... Well, all of this housing you see here is probably going to have to go away. So... This could get interesting. I also might use this opportunity to rezone this whole area. A few things about this place I don't really like too much. Meanwhile, on the disaster front, we haven't really had any chance to test our luck just yet, but I have a funny feeling it might not be sooner rather than later. And I see all of our cemeteries are now getting filled up. Oh, that's fun. A couple fires. Trash complaints, but nothing terrible from our city right now. We got some um, not enough educated workers. Okay. Too few services. Ooh. That's never, that's never fun. Um, but yeah, I think this highway is going to be next. Uh, having a bit be pitch black is not going to help me in one bit, but anyways, we'll get back to you after the jump and see what what we can do here. Yep. So I'm working on the highway, and then all of a sudden I get word that this just happened. Oh, that poor Magnolia residence. Uh, you know, sometimes I need to wonder if I should reveal the review the building codes in this city. It can be a bit, you know, much. Uh, oh well. <laughs> well, at least it's only that. I'm sure it'll get rebuilt over time, so. Anyways, I'm still working on the um, highway. This interchange is what I came up with from this area. Uh, and then, obviously, I'm still working on this. Uh, of course, now what's actually funny is this is actually literally right in the path of where I want to put my highway, so. Trust me when I say this, there'll be a lot more collapsed buildings than this. Or demolished, I should say. <laughs> oh, I am totally up. No, no good. How's our airport doing? That's it? Just two? What? Man, okay. I thought there would be more than that. How about this? 13. Now, in all fairness, I don't have this fully set up just yet. I do have the metro line set up underneath, but... Okay, that was a little scary, but yeah, I think otherwise... Everything's going swimmingly according to plan, so we'll see what happens. Alright, good news, we got the hard part done. Bad news... 
This is where it gets a little bit iffy. Because now I just have to flat out start demolishing stuff. So it only makes sense that this highway probably is going to get elevated. Actually, you know what? I'll back this up a little bit. That probably might be a good spot to start the elevation. And then just do that. There we go. That's thinking right there. There we go. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Let's just have it elevated, and we're just going to have to collapse, say... As I'm looking at this, basically this whole block is going to have to go bye-bye. So... Yeah, I would say this whole area is getting eliminated. I'll keep the main streets here, but the long story short is whole area from right about say about here is going to have to get knocked out hopefully there aren't well there are services I'll do something with the roads later on oh wow we're also throwing out a lot of services here oh man I suppose we can keep the uh, street over here and this street over here, but generally speaking, this is a very, very, very messy project here. As one could tell right off the bat, and then, well, in order for this to work, we're gonna have to dezone all of this. Now this could get interesting just from multiple standpoints. Oh, that is a little interesting because one of our metro lines is there. That isn't going to help work now, is it? <laughs> oh, dear. Um, and now for the fun part, I have to relocate all of this. So let's see here. Yes, now, now all of a sudden there's like all these services and it's like, uh-oh. How'd that happen? Wait, where did I just put that? Uh-oh. And also put them in the right spots, too, because if I don't, well, that's going to create more issues than not now, isn't it? So let's see. How about, like, that? All right. So now th this is the part where everyone dreads where we're throwing it back to the 1950s. You know, when they took, they basically decided, ah, oh, let's just build highways everywhere. And just demolish a whole bunch of stuff. Nobody will mind. No, not at all. Yeah, unfortunately, we have to take a page out of that playbook. So, whoopsies. And look at all of us just go getting demolished here. It's, that's a real shame. Oh, man. Well, good thing is we have a ton of demand to go around. I could also build more exits if I need to. Okay. And then, eventually, just does that. And then we have to do it all over again. Obviously, we'll rebuild these exits. I'll get rid of them for the time being. No, we don't need to have them for right now. And then do it again, only this time we're doing it through this end. And yeah, normally I don't put my builds on camera, but, you well... Know. I suppose we'll make an exception. I mean, look at all that. Everyone's like, brah, stop it. We live here. No. Why? See, y'all want progress? This is how what it looks like, okay? It's a very scary thing. Progress. It's a very wonderful slash scary thing sometimes, you know? Dude just thinks he can come in here and build highways all over he wants. Tsk, tsk, tsk. And there we go. Um, hmm. I suppose I could do it to this one. Obviously, we're going to have to do the, uh, reroute these, uh, two lane stuff. What's actually funny now is that we need more highway exits, too, so... 
Oh, and we need to upgrade. I just noticed something, too, that I didn't realize until just now. This needs to get upgraded, because I left them as highway interchanges. Okay, good catch, me. almost didn't spy that until just now. All right, there we go. We now have a working highway, so now I got to rebuild this whole interchange. I'll deal with the devastation in just a minute here. I, I am aware that I need to build kind of like a... Um, Highway interchange. In fact, I already... So, let me do that, and then we'll go from there. Alright. Some, uh... Retooling later, and this is what I ended up getting. Highways with sound barriers are also a nice little thing, too. They basically help to block out the noise pollution, so I had to do that. It's sort of a, uh... <laughs> pre, uh... Sit here to kind of get our. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to find where the noise is. There it is. Try to get some of the more. Wait, no? Hold on. Hold on. I'm missing something. Noise, noise, noise. Where is noise pollution? I don't see it on here. Where the fuck is noise pollution? I don't I'm not even seeing it. There it is. So this is basically what I was talking about, or at least attempting to, cutting down on some of this noise. You can see the commercial blocks are the most particular source of it, but as long as we mitigate it away from all the residential areas, I think it should be fine. Like, there's a couple spots here and there where it's going to be in effect, but at least from the commercial, from the, the goal is to try to mitigate it from the highway, so. As time goes on, I could turn these into more residential areas. But that's not the important part. The important part is that I was able to move the in the um, highways over around. So that basically should, if I'm not mistaken, have everything set up here. What what happened here? Come back here. There we go. So I think that's basically going to do it. So... I know we really didn't have very much in the way of disasters, but... With our new airports, our transport links, and our highway system planned out, now we can really begin to take, have this map take shape and begin to fill out some of the pieces here. That was kind of what I was getting at. So, my plan, assuming l our uh, luck allows it, fill out the valleys f first. So, basically anything between the highways. I can tell you right now, like this part, well, from up around here, there's like a giant hill. And right about here, there's a giant hill. So, generally speaking, we kind of want to fill in this area first with residential areas with the occasional commercial and office space coming in. Inevitably, this is also a valley too, but I kind of want this to be more of a tourism area, complete with its own little harbor, since it's a nice little cove. It's kind of a unique setup we've got over here. In regards to the rest of the city, the hills, we'll throw in like little settlements along the highway up here, this outer upper hill highway. But generally speaking, there really isn't too much more we can build on. This map is a little challenging because of all the cliffs. And there's only so many spots on the map you can build up and down without landscaping. Like, even getting this was a difficult challenge, too. It required some landscaping. <clears throat> but we did manage to pull it off. 
And all in all, we are actually sitting at 73,000 people. Uh, we actually lost more people to the uh, highway demolition than anything else, which I find kind of funny. Actually, <coughs> excuse me. It says here I actually need more industry. <coughs> I'm going to ignore that for right now. We can actually put in more office space if need be. That's probably what I'm going to look towards, although I would not mind expanding this out a little bit more as much as we can, but there's not too much space we can do with our uh, <coughs> quote-unquote traditional industry other than the cram it over here. This is basically the final industrial block we can do, but that's about as f it. So that's going to do it for me. So, as I, so basically, long story short, no, that was a bit premature. This is going to basically be our uh, industry giver. But other than that, I think that's going to do it for me for this episode. So once again, thank you all very much for watching. Don't forget to hit those likes and subscribe buttons on the way out. And, um, hmm, what's that word that I was thinking? Oh, and uh, I will see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.